All right, guys, I'm gonna repair this tank. I already taken the nut loose. I got the line, the nut off here, where they had this here, remember? They had it pushed in this hole, like here, and that popped out. That's why we had all the water leaking. I already had a little soap to clean this out. Next, I'm gonna take the alcohol and rub it, clean it. Bought me a screw to go here uh, to put in there. So, all right, let's see what we got. Basically, scrubbing it, cleaning it, you can see it, soaping it. All right. All right, let's take some of this rubbing alcohol, clean it. All right, let me show you what we're working with now. See how it looks? It's a lot better there. Clean it just a tad more, guys, and we done. All right. All right, one of the things I'm gonna use for this job is this JB well, water well, and it's NS, NSF approved for drinking water, right? All I'm gonna do is cut off what I need, I'm gonna put it up, then I'm gonna stick it in the hole and let it dry. Then I got another process I'm gonna do after that. All right, I cut off this much of it, right? I'm gonna just knead it. Got my gloves on so it won't get so sticky. See, you got the gray and the white, just want to knead them together because they all bond with each other. Gloves making it a little hard. I probably should have had a different type of my other plastic gloves on, so don't use these kind because it's sticking to them. I should have used the rubber glove. smell the stuff in it, work the chemicals. All right, here, let's put this in this hole. You know what, I'm gonna get the camera and bring it up close so you can see it. Basically, I'm going to put it in this hole here. Oh, gloves are making it a little difficult, isn't it? Get it in this hole here, right? should do the trick see all right all right guys let's work on this sensor now like i said i got the old part off all right see got the little rust off this a little bit now we're gonna put this on here right put this nut on this way there we go let the pliers hold this now let's tighten this down a little 
All right. See, nice and tight. Now let's put this in here. There we go. Guys, see? Got that nice and tight. So I repaired it that way. All right. Got that repaired. Now, we're gonna let this get a little hard. I got some stuff coming where I'm gonna do another process where I'm gonna put some mesh in there and I'm gonna seal some more plastic around it to make sure, you know, it don't come up, okay? All right, got my package from Amazon. Got a plastic welding rod and a mesh screen steel mesh screen that I'm help use for this tank. All right, I'm working on this project. Now, I'm melting the plastic welding rod. I got my heat gun. I don't want to use a torch. I don't want to scorch the tank. So I'm going to use the heat gun. side so i'm gonna cut that but that's the process i'm gonna go i'm not gonna bore you watching all that but that's how i'm gonna end up fixing this right and i'll show you the finished product or i'll show you next when i put the screen on there the mesh all right guys i'm done see it's nice hard and solid it's not going nowhere all right, I'm happy with it. You see, this plastic and also bonded in with the other stuff up on it. It was a success. The water held. I'm letting it out. Uh, let me show you something. Let me lay it back down for a second. I had marked it, right? See those black marks? The water held there for over an hour and a half. No leaks. So now I'm trying to let it out before this rain get here. See, got rain coming. Get this tank out the rain. All right, I'll show you the water level. Got the water level up here, which is above the, see it? It is above the seal. You can even see water in those, so not leaking nowhere. So we get a chance to see what it does. So far, no runs, no drips. <laughs> hey, no air. All right, guys, checking this tank out. See, got the water going in there. You can hear it. Uh, <laughs> made this to keep the water from coming out on this end. It's all good. All right. 